In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this deep dish single serve cookie that is absolutely delicious and definitely not healthy. <laughs> Starting off preheating my oven to 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to grab a little ramekin like this and grease it with a little bit of vegan butter or you could use coconut oil as well. Just greasing up the insides of the ramekin so the cookie doesn't stick too much. Then in a bowl I'm going to combine one and a half teaspoons of the vegan butter, again you could use coconut oil, one tablespoon of brown sugar, one tablespoon of maple syrup and a tiny splash of vanilla extract. Then I'm going to microwave that for about 10 seconds just so it starts to melt and stir it all together. Then I'm going to add the dry ingredients, an eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder, two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of plain flour. Any all-purpose flour will do. I'm using wholemeal. Then I'm going to combine it all again until it forms a sticky cookie dough texture. If you feel like it's a bit dry, you could also add a little splash of milk like I did here. Then I'm going to add a handful of cacao nibs, you use any chocolate chips or crumbled up chocolate you like and then combine that in again before adding it all into the ramekin. At this point I forgot that I actually wanted some cinnamon in mine so I just sprinkled some on top and stirred it in and then I smoothed down the top so that it cooked evenly all over. Then just pop it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes depending on how gooey you want it. Obviously the less time you cook it the, the more gooier it will be. I tend to check it after 8 minutes. Just press on the top and it will feel firm when it starts to cook. And then you'll know it's kind of crisp on the outside and gooey in the middle. It's really good. Leave it to kind of cool down for about 5 minutes. And whilst it's cooling I'm going to add some vegan Nutella, this stuff really pimps out the cookie and makes it even more delicious. Use any sort of topping you like, you could do almond butter as well, that'd be really good. And there we have it, a really delicious, easy to make, deep dish cookie. This is a perfect little Christmas treat if you're having a cosy night in and you just want something a little indulgent but you don't want to make a huge batch of cookies. This is actually my last video before Christmas so Merry Christmas guys, I hope you have a lovely one with your family and friends and I'll see you soon. Bye!